Oh, hello every there. Hello every there. Oh, I need to start the stream again. Hello there everyone, I was maybe trying to say. Oh my god, we need to restart. Can't believe it. Hello, Lawrence. Hello everyone in the chat. Welcome. Greetings. Hi. We are back playing this game again. Who'd have thought we would play this again? Well, I did because I told you I would. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, I'm going to continue the campaign today as the Elbian Confederation, even Virtual Rock's here. Um, yeah, I had a, a lot of fun playing this on the last stream and I had a lot of fun playing this on launch day when we did a couple of botched campaigns. So I'm back, I want to continue. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun streaming it. I had a lot of great interaction with chat really had a lot of fun but you know we're, we're probably looking at the last time I'll stream it because you know every time you stream a game or stream a campaign or something the viewer count goes down by, by a certain percentage each time and we're getting to the point where it's probably not worth it anymore just from a viewer count perspective not because I'm not having fun or anything so but I'm looking forward to getting back into this and continuing I uh, had a lot of fun this was the unexpected game that was actually quite good. I mean, it looks terrible. Loads of problems with it. I mean, I've said this on every one of these streams now. You know, it's, it looks terrible. Has loads of problems. Doesn't even have multiplayer. But at its core, in its mechanics, the way the systems work and the way you just enjoy the game, it's actually alright. It's actually good. It's not deserving of the massive marketing campaign it got, which failed to live up you know, failed to give them enough sales, probably, to make a profit on that. Basically, an indie game which has been propelled to the ranks of AAA by Paradox, when it, it's not really worthy of that. And, you know, some people don't like... I mean, loads of people don't like the game, and that's fine. Lots, some people question me even playing it. There's someone in the chat here going, why? To Why am I playing it? The contract obliged you to three streams. Yeah, okay, very funny. Um, and even people even disliking the VODs on the Spudgun archives. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm, I know you might not like the game or like that I'm even playing it, but at the end of the day, the last stream I played of this, it was three and a half hours of me having loads of fun and loads of viewers who were there at the time enjoying it and having great interaction with chat. So to dislike that, I would ask you to unsubscribe and go away. All right, or just, you know, do the sensible thing and don't watch it if you don't want to, because if you just if you just want your Vic 2, why dislike it for the... Well, I don't know why they dislike it. A couple of... No, it's only like one or two. But I can only sort of try and guess. But, you know, the VOD channel is always a really optional channel anyway. But my main videos on the main channel, I want to get loads of viewers in, I want to get as many as possible. You know, everyone likes the videos and all that. But the VOD channel is optional. People who were... People who are okay watch, watching the long form, a whole stream. Why negative emotions from the start? What? Nocti, I'm just going over the situation. You're... what? I'm just telling you, I'm recapping everything that's happened, which is in, includes 90% positive stuff about how I'm enjoying the game and want to stream it. Christ, chat. What is wrong with you? Um, anyway, so I'm just wondering... You know, the VODs, if you see a game that I stream that you don't want to watch, then don't watch it. You know, it's better just to leave it rather than come and dislike it for some reason. So anyway, I mean, the game looks fun enough, says Antonia. I just overhyped. I feel like Paradox still thinks it's an indie company. Well, Paradox is certainly not. The company that actually developed this, not published it, is sort of indie-ish. Sort of. You know what I mean? Because they're small and they're upcoming. Their first game, or maybe they've done something else. Let's get the chat here. Antonio asked earlier as well, uh, any spoilers on how many parts of Bavaria series we'll have by the end? I'm not saying. The next part that's coming out tomorrow is going to be a huge part. It's part 22, but it's not the end. Um, and I, one of the reasons I'm not saying is because I don't want to spoil these things, but also because I don't really know, to be honest, at this point even now. So yeah, welcome everyone in the chat. Imperator, Braden, Hercules... Uh, hello everyone. Good to see you all here. Hopefully we can get the uh, 
a lot of the same people who are here for the last one so we can enjoy the whole campaign maybe get some people their army names back maybe I'm thinking maybe Hull anyone remember Hull does that name ring a bell for anyone now I'm in the main menu of course let's go back here we are but you know what I always like to do first when I'm coming into these streams let me turn the text off And you know what? I'll probably turn this one off too. There you go. The Bavaria game did go on for such a long time. That's right. And I will turn the in-game music back up a wee bit. Seven. My background music in the background off. Getting everything set up here for your entertainment. Okay, one thing I do want to take a look at, of course. Review tracker. You know I love this sort of thing. So we have, it's up to 66, right? Last stream, we checked this at the start, it was 65. It's still increasing. What's the cutoff point for mostly positive? I'm not sure, is it 70? Probably 70 or around there. It probably won't reach that unless you actually improve the game a lot or add multiplayer or something. Antonio says, if you say my name again, I might develop parasocial feelings. Well, anyway, so... Come on, Spud, score some fucking goals, says someone in the chat. You know, if you join the channel membership, you can post the North FC emote, which is this. One of many benefits you can get if you join the channel membership today, which, of course, I'm going all out on and pushing and advertising. And you can guarantee... I can give you one spoiler about Bavaria Part 22. You want to know one spoiler for Bavaria Part 22 coming out tomorrow? I will be advertising channel memberships in it in the intro and outro. Wow. Oh, big spoilers. You only get that sort of insider behind the scenes info if you tune into my streams, guys. Wow, says that guy. Mate, what do you mean, wow? We haven't opened up a battle screen in millennia yet. Okay, calm down. We're all out of sync, aren't we? Calm down, guys. Braden, thank you. Thank you so much for joining the channel membership. I'm, if, if you remind me when I'm in-game, I'll name a general, an army stack after you. I think we're all out of sync, aren't we? And Hercules as well. Right, both of you are getting armies. Thanks so much, guys, for joining the membership. All right. So it went up a point. And they also released a dev diary the other day. Um, this dev diary is there's a bit of an intro. And what happens is, you know, loads of balance changes, patch you know, bug fixes. Multiplayer is still disappointingly not right. They're, all they're doing is tweaking the existing cloud hot seat shit system. So they need to, I mean, get on with adding actual multiplayer, please, right? I don't care for this. Oh, another thing that is typical with the dev diary, and I don't like this at all, is, you know, now that we're done, let's get started. First up, it's important to understand that we see release as a milestone in Millennia's development. You know what I absolutely hate about this part of the dev diary? Right? This is the typical paradox model, right? And it's also generally the model used in all games nowadays, right? It comes out and then they keep developing and they keep adding patches and stuff. These guys are writing this dev diary as if they're the first people to ever come up with continuous development. Wow, this is a new revolutionary thing. Now that we're done, let's get started. Not fuck off, it's because Paradox is publishing you that this is happening. Sorry to be a dick to the people writing this dev diary or whatever, but I just don't like that. It's annoying. It's a it's live service. Like, this is normal. Every, every game does this. You're not making this up. Uh, but, I mean, obviously the positive side is, yes, they're patching it and improving it, which is good, right? I just hope they go far enough and actually fix the things that I genuinely think are problems with the game. Like that multiplayer, so they haven't done that yet. Um, as far as I can see in this uh, thing, they haven't added an option to turn off battle menus. They haven't um, added key binding options, and you know, I don't think they've tackled any of the problems I had with the game yet. They're just tweaking some little bug fixes. Raiden, thank you so much for the super chat of ten dollars. I've been watching your channel since Muscovy Part Three. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. So I'm so glad you go back a long time. Why part three specifically? I wonder. Did you ever, did you ever catch up on parts one and two in that series? Did you, did you go back and finish that? You might not have known what was happening. Uh, 
Anyway, Mapper is asking me about Victoria 3. We're not talking about that on this stream. I'll give my thoughts on all that shite another time. That guy says I'm sick. I'm sick of updates. Just release a game that's finished. Yeah, yeah. No problem, man. I've been watching your channel since about Muscovy Part Three. Always enjoy your videos and look forward to them. The least I can do. Imperator saying. It's not an excuse, but it makes sense for them to focus on single player since more people play single player. Yeah, I, that's obviously true, but uh, as well as that, I mean, this game could have killer multiplayer, right? It could. It has the potential for it, like Civ multiplayer. I think Civ's multiplayer is just held back by how unstable and shite it is, especially Civ 5, if I recall. Like, if, they, if companies actually invested in good multiplayer... Like the, every game that did that could be so much better and have a very much dedicated community and all that, but lots of games just completely overlook that potential right there. How much do you think the game is worth paying for currently? It's it's expensive for what it is, okay? I've definitely maintained that. Yeah, Civ, six, Civ can barely maintain like six players, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, also another thing that happened, right? When I, I saw people talking about Millennia or somewhere, maybe on a, the tweet for their dev diary, and people were like, are you going to go like that Star War, that Star Trek game that came out not long ago and abandon it? So, like, if you've watched a few of my discussion streams, you might have seen me mention this. So, like, last year, Paradox published uh, a Stellaris clone game based in the Star Trek universe, and it was terrible. I mean, it got mixed reviews, came out shy, it was rushed. Paradox published, developed by some indie company. And it's now abandoned. That's it. Absolutely. This is the height of slot, this game. And I thought, you know, I like to talk about these things and I like to monitor the slot that Paradox is putting out. So I just wanted to quickly point this out. I'm like, this is terrible. They've just launched a shitty broken game that came out, mixed reviews, buggy, uh, barely any content, and abandoned it a few months later. Boom. That's the slot train. But that's all I really wanted to focus on there. Now we can get into the game. Ah, let's take a moment to breathe, everyone. Wow, okay. Oh. Welcome back to Midlenia, Slopenia, whatever you may want to call it. I'll just lower the size of the chat back to where it should be. I think I tended to have the chat about there. Uh, let me know if that's too big for the screen right now, if you find it annoying or anything like that, please. Let me know. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time introing and uh, explaining the situation here in the game. My first Bud video was the PP pee, pee War. Good times. Oh, cool, Antonio, my new parasocial friend. Glad to hear it, mate. <laughs> nice. That was a good video. Sharon. Thank you so much for the 6.99 Canadian dollars. Look guys, we've made a round shaped wooden thing and in terms. That's the feelings I get every time with these dev diaries, LMAO. Yeah, the, the live service thing. I'm pretty sure when Victoria 3 came out and it had its first post-release dev diary, they said the same thing as if they were inventing the wheel. This isn't just a release. This is only stage one of a continuous development. Mate, every game does that. It's not new. You don't have to come up with a new way of phrasing it or saying it. Actually, even I think the chat was a bit too big there, just on my end. I don't know. Let's leave it there. So, right, here's the game. If anyone's actually still new to this, uh, does, a lot, does the Scandi Live series continue Sunday? Yes, it will. Session 3 is happening this Sunday at 6pm British Summer Time and the equivalent times in other time zones. This is stage one of this comment. Are you going to edit it to increase? Uh, say something new? Anyway, right. Okay. How do I even explain this? So, we're playing Millennia. It's year. It's turn 103, 640 AD, uh, although that doesn't really mean anything to you. Um, I've been playing as the Albion Confederation, which is a bit of a joke, because... The game doesn't actually have any flavour or customization to nations, really. Um, and I've really... I, I, it's even got the Chinese flag, right? That's that's the Chinese flag. But it's sort of the right colours for the Albions. You know, golden stars and red background is pretty Albion, if you ask me. Virtual Rock says, tune in on Sunday to watch me lose. Well, why else would anyone watch it? 
No one tunes in to watch me win. And by the way, there's Ethan who also has his channel. Click on Ethan's name right now, go to channel and subscribe to Ethan. If Virtual Rock had a channel, I'd shill it too, but he doesn't. So don't subscribe to Virtual Rock. Um, hello, Radic. Okay, so all I've done really to make this the Albion Confederation is customize the cities by naming them. I named it Prague. And then we looked at a map, which I'll do again if we ever name new cities. I looked at a map, or a Google Maps around Prague, and I looked for a funny named town near the city to name this and we found a town called Unhost in the Czech Republic or Czechia. You want to go back to it? Hold on. Just to prove that this is real. Just to prove this. Oh, Ethan. Right. Where's Unhost again? There's a place called Host of Vicha. <laughs> oh, this is even better, actually. Host of Vicha. This is like Host some Vic too. Host of Vic. Host of Vic campaign. Host Vic. You know, see what I mean? Hello, not guy. Ethan, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting five subs. Memberships, even. Thank you. Um, that's probably you know, five five gifted memberships for one little shout out to a stream that only like a hundred people are watching is probably not a great economic uh, deal for you but i'll give you i'll give you more shout outs there there's on host there's on host i'll give you a shout out on the actual sunday game right people people will actually be watching that so there's on host right you want to just want to pop down into on host What's it like? We've, we've got the background ambience of millennia on right now, so it's, can we can really immerse ourselves. This is what Unhost sounds like. Sync, it's lovely though. It's nice. Presumably a church there, but is it, is it? Looks like it's closed, but is it open? Interesting. Now there's a, a wee cafe over here. If anyone's in the town of Unhost, I would highly recommend the Kukrarna Dolce Vita little cafe here. Maybe grab an ice cream. You can see people in there, you know, enjoying, enjoying that. What's this? This a this ATM machine is very badly reviewed. Do not use this. Do not use this ATM machine. It doesn't actually give you the money. You put your card in, ask for 20 quid, and it doesn't give you it. Yeah, it takes it out of your account. At least that's what I heard. Uh, anyway. Five gifted members, though. That's so fantastic. Thank you. There's a video on that ATM machine, actually, Spud. Is that the one... No, I'm thinking of this video where someone... There's a scam going on where it charges you to view your balance. Oh, yeah. Oh, any... Any ATM cash machine that actually charges money in any fashion, I do not use it. And the good thing about contactless payment and all that, cards and stuff, is that you're not forced to. But say you were somewhere and the only option to get some money would be a, an ATM that charged, you would be a little bit fucked. But sort of the good side of cards and all this stuff. Even though I kind of prefer to use cash myself as much as I can. Right, so... That's, that's millennia. That's me explaining my millennia campaign, right? So obviously within Bragg and everything, there's a complicated supply chain of goods that I've been enjoying getting into. I've got my armies. We're doing research. Actually, we're going to upgrade the army soon. Um, I want to look at my diplomacy, if there's a, sole, uh, a menu for that. Where can I see diplomacy? Like who I'm at war with? Uh, yeah, here. We have been at war with Scotland. I think we still are. Yeah, we are in a war. So if you look at the map, we haven't explored much of the map yet, to be honest. We just have our country and then Scotland up here, which is actually using the British names pack. But anyway, we're at war with them. A big, brutal death war. And I'm pillaging their land a bit with the army of Huff, which was a super chatter. It's LBA Vanilla Nation. Or oh, I can absolutely customize this. I said it earlier. 
I used the Chinese flag and then named everything after Bohemian stuff. The flag customization is non-existent in this game. In fact, the Scottish nation was another one that I created in session in the first time I played when the game dropped, and it got. I gave it what is actually the Russian emblem, just because it was the only one, or one of the few, with uh, a blue background and white. Kind of looks like a cross. That's all you've got going. I mean, that's all you can do in this game. Uh, so we're at war. Um, Cottbus is another place I named after the Albions. And this place is a little bit fucked, actually, because we we've got a rebellion. Um, and Dresden was the Bohemian one. Or the, sorry, the, the Saxony region. And we found a town called Steina next to it that I named. But we also have the ongoing Brno situation. This was my second city. Uh, obviously, I named it after a great Moravian city for my, for my second region. What's the point in changing your name if you can't change your flag? I mean, I chose the flag when I started the game, when I customized the nation outside. You can't change it in-game, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, Bruno has rebelled against me. So what happened was, the Scots sent massive amounts of armies down to Bruno, pillaged it, you know, tagged my sheep so that I couldn't get the supply chains up and they burned my farms. The place got really high uh, unrest, which, uh, you know, my capital's also gaining unrest as well. Shit. No, it's not. It's losing it. It's losing it. It's slowly losing it. But that was bad. And then it ultimately, even after I kicked the Scottish armies out and I claimed victory, it rebelled against me and it's now an independent nation and I have to declare war in it. I've done that this turn. So we have to take it back as soon as possible. This is like a really important city for me. Other than that, of course, we're going to keep managing the mechanics that you've got. And as a matter of fact, I am going to take, I don't know, nothing. I'm going to wait for something else. I'm going to wait for the change of government with my government points. Exploration can give me some stuff, but it doesn't matter. That, you know, various things. Anything useful to do with diplomacy? Not really. I don't know if I'd be able to like diplomatically re-annex Brno with envoys or anything. Don't know. But anyway, now we have a couple of things to do. I want to name some of my armies after our people. We have Sharon already with an army named after him. This was for Doomlord, the Huff. So my next biggest army, I guess, which is this one, Combat. This one's been in battle a lot. Now, who did I say I would name them after? Right, we have... Uh, I have to scroll back in the chat. We have Braden and Hercules. So if any of you have any ideas, or Ethan as well, and uh, yeah, the three of you get to name an army if you want. If you have any ideas, keep that in mind. Um, if none of them respond, I'll just name, name it myself after them. This is just the Elbians which have sold themselves off to China as portrayed in the Bavaria series, yeah. And Scotland going to war actually represents me. Uh, you know, in my second, or my, when I named this, no, sorry, when I started playing Millennia, I started playing as Scotland, but then I did a second campaign as Bavaria. Another custom nation with fuck all customization. All right, Ethan wants Scouse Bastards, and Braden wants Bo Holy Bohemian Order. Right, this one here. Maybe I should get on with founding my religion if I'm naming a holy order. And this is my next biggest army. These are the Scouse Bastards. Hercules can be another army. But these are garrison armies. This is an actual sort of upcoming army here. This will be Hercules. Alright, we're caught up on that. I think I'm ready to end turn though. Right, we'll see what happens. No, I've got an idle region, Stettin. Which city is this again? Stettin here. Uh, with Stettin, what I'm trying to do, I'm desperately trying to... So we have tobacco, and I built a tobacco plantation. This is a luxury good. Cities over a certain amount of population, of like 15, 
start to get a luxury need which will improve their you know needs and stuff which will help them not be so rebellious and it'll help the pops grow so what i'm trying to do is transport that tobacco to prague but that requires using some like mechanics of trade internal trade and shit and i need to wait till stettin grows a region level before i can build a market in it right i need to build the market requires region level two um and then that will allow me to trade internally to give the tobacco so that the people of prague can smoke their cigarettes my god it's complicated so in the meantime in this city i'm just going to build an army or something a spear thanks emperor malgus for gifting a membership if, if you remind me i'll try and find an, an army to name after you but my army names are kind of full now they're all used so now in terms of what i build in prague i'd like to get upgrade points for a while Bernot, a revolutionary attack has appeared nearby. Okay. Well, I know that. I know that. Thanks for letting me know. You think this will be a good game out of the box? Will it need 20 DLCs? It needs updates. It needs free updates. We've we're, we're met another nation. Oh. Those barbarians suicided into Cottbus. Okay, and this army is the one that I'm pillaging Scotland with. Um, this has got a dwelling in it. I'm going to pillage that. And are we now at war? I have three turns until I can do something. I think I'm hostile with them, but now I need to need to become it needs to become a war next, so I can prepare for that. I guess I'm going to build new units in Prague. What religions are available? I don't know. Um, I'm going to look into that. This army, I was scouting with it. I need to get the innovation points with that. Um, nothing really else I can do. I can upgrade. But what do I really need to upgrade? Uh, I need to figure out... Hey, there's something here. What's this? Coffee. That doesn't count as a luxury, though, apparently. Is it maybe a, a plantation I can build on that? I can build a large plantation to work the coffee. Okay, do that. So... It's, that doesn't look good. The coffee doesn't look like coffee. It's hard to tell what it is, but that upgrades my production and stuff a little bit. Okay, in turn. This army here, what's that? That's a public quarters, so let's pillage. Actually, I'm not going to pillage the public quarters because it actually increases their unrest. Uh, that building. Cardiff is getting unrest level 2 and it's under siege by me. So it's getting fucked. They're paying for what they did to me. The coffee looks like the plant. Yeah. I, g I get what they're going for, but it would just be a lot simpler if they just made it look like a, a cup of coffee. So that you can instantly just recognise what it is, you know. But <laughs> this is a... Of all things, it's a very minor nitpick. Now this is producing coal, so I need to build a mine there. Stettin just grew to level 5. Hello, Natstick. Which might mean it can be properly... It can get the market, basically. Maybe. What's this? A new thing next to Cardiff? No religion. Okay. Can I build the market now? Still region level 1. Population limit is bad. What do I need? What's the problem in, Sch in Stettin? Um, what's your McDonald's order? Good question, Stephen. I'll get back to you on that. Does this just need more food? 
12 out of 10. Well, maybe it does need housing, because I think you do need housing when you get to 5. I think that's what it is. I will rush that. Um, oh, I can't find my religion. I can't do it. I can build a farm or a hunting camp, I think. Wait. I think, uh, yeah, I lost the ability to make farms for some reason. Why is that? Does anyone, does anyone know why I can't build a farm? I'll build a hunting camp. But even that's no use. It's at a limit. It needs housing. That's what I needed to build, but I didn't, did I? I built the wrong thing. Actually, you know what? Behind the chat, there's an undo button. So undo, right? And then build a dwelling as I should. Ah. You need to add a town when the pop won't grow. Hmm. I'm going to try a dwelling first, because I want to use the culture bonus to find the religion. No, the dwelling didn't work. Okay, delete the dwelling. Undo. Because I have to use the whole culture bonus. I can't find my religion if I create a town. Well, I'll do it anyway. Um, this can be Tobacco Town. Oh, uh, you know what this means, right? Aachen is not too far away from where we are, but... Is that it? Yeah, oh, it, it got region level 2. Right, build the market. Actually, finish off the spear quickly and now build the market. Fantastic. Right. Now these guys can go and join their army. Capital attack. Enemy adjacent to capital. Yeah, this... I built... Um, this is a castle special unique building thing. I built it between me and Scotland to defend. Uh, Manchester has gone to Hinduism, which is... You know, don't make any comments, but they've got so many pops in Manchester. I need to kill them. Uh, I'm going to go and plunder them. This is what I was worrying about, by the way. Every region allows more five pop talent. Yeah, yeah. I, c I haven't seen Manchester for a while, and I was wondering if Scotland had another city that was bigger, and yes, they do, which is quite threatening, because, you know, they have more pops than me, especially since I lost Burnell. Can I deck on them now? No, one turn. Right. Anyway, um, what was I doing? These guys... Garrison... Upgrade to Knight, yeah. Prague. What do I need to build? Oh, a spear for one turn. Oh, I can hit a Barbarian with that attack now. Good. That's very Civ 5 or 6-ish. The, uh, the attacks. Scotland is Hindu. Yep, it is. In-game. Anything I can do with Arts? No... Any improvements I could build right now? Uh, I can upgrade things. Now, what I'm going to build is determined sort of by what kind of goods do I have. So I've got a lot of lumber. So a building, a building that converts lumber into something. Hmm. This turns logs into lumber, but what can I do with lumber? Does anyone know anything? A bit loud. Everything is actually just logs going straight into stuff, rather than lumber. Large plantation gathers stuff. Cloud farm. Um, thank you so much, Doomlord, for the 400 huff. Your army is still alive and well. The weaver turns wool, cotton or flax into cloth. Right? And now I've got one flax, but there's two flax buildings actually. There's two flax. 
Ah, there's flax, but only one of them has someone working in it. Right? Now what I'm going to do... Right, I'm going to upgrade that one, so it's making two flax with one person. And then I'm going to destroy that, and I'm going to put... I'm going to put the weaver on there, okay? Big weaver. Does that make any sense? Dead face. You're absolutely right, dead face. The first impressions of anyone who sees this game for the first time, as a lot of people still are coming into the chat, is that it looks like Clash of Clans. It looks shite. And that is completely true, right? Everyone who's saying that is 100% right. But if when you eventually look past that, the game has good mechanics and stuff. And that's generally the consensus of people that have ended up playing it a lot more like I have. What does Dresden need? Uh, it could do with a bit more food. Uh, what's this? Cotton. I can just give him a hunting cap. That gives him a bit more food, I guess. Right. Oh god. A clan of druids that live on the outskirts of the Elven Confederation have been stirring up trouble, making declarations of doom and curses on the land. Minus one bonus food on weight goods, flour and bread goods for five turns. Wow. So I'm just getting starved a bit and there's nothing I can do about it. The Aztecs got an gave me an alliance though. Oh. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Those cheeky bastards, the Aztecs. They wanted me to form an alliance, so what does that do? It instantly just puts me at war with fucking... Um, the United States of America. Nice one. Very cheeky. Wait, I thought I had an army here. I got confused. That was a rebel army or something the whole time. You're going to become a commander. Now, can I declare war on these rebellious bastards? Yes, I can. Okay, we're going back in. I'm going to just aim directly for the city. No messing about. All armies are going there, and we're taking it back. Is unrest going up or down? It's, going, it's still going down. I need to build a building that lowers unrest in Prague. Now, what would that be? Watch. Unrest suppression. Perfect. Okay, that's what I need. Easy. Genius. News from abroad. No, it's Scotland in the Aztecs. Oh, so the Aztecs joined me, actually. The, the Aztecs are on my side, but I don't know where they are. Can I... Uh... Can we share maps? No, I don't know. I want to see them. Can you build a pub? I don't know. I don't think so. But what I can do is give us a reformed imperial dynasty, uh, which gives me big plus 10 innovation. These things up here, so what I just got was a chaos event. Chaos is a modifier that gradually increases based on stuff, and then when it gets to 100, there's a chance of a random bad event happening. On the other hand, though, you've got Innovation, which is a positive modifier that goes up, and likewise, when that gets to 100, there's a chance of a really good event happening. What the fuck is that sound when you hover over anything? I hate it. Just the little the, the little UI noise? Well, that's never bothered me. It sounds like any UI noise. I guess what I'll do with these is just build Spawn a Merchant. There's not much else to do. I've got a merchant generating wealth at Cottbus, which is my only vassal, so what else can these guys do? Deploy this merchant to an adjacent capital of another nation's region to generate wealth. Well, I would send them to the Aztecs if I knew where they were. Chinese star in the chat. Well, Chinese star is what my flag actually is in this game right now. 
And then we've got some... That's some Scottish... Some Scottish knights are out here. That's a Scottish explorer. And you know what keeps getting me about this game? Again and again. It's just that I, I don't... I can't... I can barely discern what an enemy unit is on the map compared to my own units. Because I look at this little flag below it, it doesn't look like Scotland. It's, uh, I just, but it is, it is. Right, time to at start attacking the city, although my army compositions are a bit off. I don't know, maybe I need to mix these up a little bit, but I don't know if any of these armies are strong enough to just launch a, an attack on their own. This would be a good composition. Oh! Alright, I think... Did I just merge some ar named armies, guys? Uh, which army did I just get rid of there? Did anyone notice? I got rid of someone's army that had a name. I can undo it, actually. See? Ah, oh, easy. It was the Holy Bohemian Order, right? I don't even need to ask chat anything. I can just undo Well, I've got some spearmen here who are under attack. They can't really hold that, so I'm going there. Um, I, I will keep these armies separate. I'm going to raid some more of Manchester's buildings if I can. Uh, just wait there. You wait there. You ah, oh, just just hit the city. Oh, we can we can look at our first battle screen today, everyone. Right? Let's watch. We're gonna let it play. I've got this female leader here, sort of tanking the damage from the the peasants while the crossbows shoot over. This is not going well. She better not die. Come on. She's gonna fucking die. But we might be able to destroy the gates. No! No! I think she's broken. She's not dead, but she's just sort of... in a rout. That's what happens there. So she can live to fight another day. Right, I'm going to send the spears at it now. We can finish off the wall. It's already finished. Right, let's see what happens. Android or iOS? Neither. We're here killing our own people. It's, it's just a disaster. It's a tragedy. These random peasants can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fully trained spearmen. And actually decisively win the battle on that basis. And fucking kill my spearmen. Kill both of them actually. Cool. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's great. I lost an army. I don't even remember what army that was. Someone's army has died. I think that was uh, Hercules or something. No, he's still there. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to consolidate armies. Some of you are losing your armies. Demand religious conversion or else. Wait, we're already at war. What are you threatening me with? Demand religious conversion. They're trying to make me a Hindu. I'm going to use the reinforcements ability to heal them. Invalid cannot target this territory type. Okay. Cool. In any case, they've got a wall again. Where did they get their fucking wall from? Listen, more people say wow in the chat when we play this amazing battle screen. We need more wows. So they've broken one of my knights. Why are these peasants so overpowered, guys? Someone tell me.
This is so bad. I know, I know. I know, I get it. It looks shit. And the fact that these peasants are just invulnerable is just fucking crazy. That is ridiculous. And there are multiple Scottish armies here sieging Stettin. Let's go and help. There's a forester in there. Pillage that. You, um... Go there. This army can hit what are... These are just barbarians. Alright. We can feel good about ourselves if we watch this battle. Right. Yeah, that's more like it. They are more advanced than you, my brother in Christ. Those, uh... Those Bernoians? They're literally me. Wait, what is happening in Prague? What what is going on? Why was why is it war unrest? Oh fuck off with that. We just completed the watch. War unrest. My fuck it, my arse. Well, in that case, Scotland, uh, offer peace. Message sent. I'm getting I'm getting destroyed by unrest in Prague now. This is what ended my first campaign. But what what I want to do anyway is build. Uh, a weaver. A big weaver. So I'm giving my people cloth, right? Are they not happy now? Getting war exhaustion, but how do I lower it? I guess, you know what else is probably hitting this? It's probably also the food penalty thing I got. That is really fucking this hard, actually. That's not good. Stettin also, they're all having a hard time these days. That market needs to get done quicker so I can transport the tobacco. Ah, uh, what to build in Prague? You can have another city guard. I think we need to go all out on that. Stettin can do an attack. Alright, hit them. Okay, nice. Um, whose army did we lose that I can name another one after? If anyone remembers, let me know. But walls regenerate each turn? Well, that's bullshit if they do. It completely nullifies doing anything. Unless you, like, take a city down in one turn. It's bullshit. What's this? That's the saw pit. That's a dwelling. My dwellings still look tribal, right? I thought they would have upgraded to some kind of medieval city by now. Still look like a tribal dwelling. Oh, good. Well, I think I can end the turn here. Right, yeah. Let's move on. Dresden, are you doing okay? Yeah, it is. Dresden's doing well. It could get more food. Uh, yeah. Not. They don't 100% sure. Oh, they actually accepted. No. Wait, what? Which one did they accept or reject there? They, re they accepted something and then rejected something. That didn't make any sense. What happened? Am I at war with, Am I still at war with Scotland? Uh, uh, at war. Yes, okay. Nothing happened, right? They accepted the message and then rejected the, the war. I have, I have no idea. Can I do a city attack on them? I really don't want to pillage my own people. Because I'm just about... I'm going to take the city back, hopefully, very soon. I don't want to do that. Oh, God, Prague. Oh, God. Uh, I think we need to build another city guard. Like, have a full stack of them. Because I think they do compound with each other to lower... war unrest and all this. Right, go out here. Actually, they pillaged my mound. Rebuild that. This merchant has to sit and do nothing. And this, they have more foresters to pillage, actually. Good. We're absolutely devastating Manchester. But, like, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely pillaging the two biggest cities and nothing is happening. The unrest is going down. Come on. Right. That's not fair. I'm fucking pillaging them. 
Capital plus one region level farm construction. Is the campaign lost if Prague revolts? No, I mean, I can probably fight off whatever rebellion happens. This rebellion here... I mean, look, I, I don't know. If it just spawns rebels or something, it's fine. Uh, but if it actually becomes another nation, I'm fucked. Prague rebels will attack here in four turns. The press on rest to reduce or prevent a revolution while well, I'm doing my best. I am definitely trying. We need Bernal back as well. Um, yeah, let's move on. Alright, barbarians suicided into Aachen. They attacked my army here and killed my cavalry. Uh, city attack. How do I do it? Now right, we're killing that army slowly. Good stuff. Okay. Do I have enough health to launch an attack? Because these guys are fucked. I need to heal them. You attack, right? A lot of their peasants are low on health. Their walls are on half health and rebuilt. So... Let's just do more damage. I need to take this. I need to be aggressive. They keep attacking my lady here. They didn't even give her a chance to hit back. There. Destroy the walls. Destroy the peasants. Now she's, she's dead. They have specifically targeted different peasants so that none of the peasants actually die and yeah that was terrible what these peasants are the strongest units i've ever seen in this game what is up with that um unrest is going down we're back in fact shall, shall i build another one no let's build something useful let's start building some more units uh, we're, we're eight turns from building our, from upgrading our tech. Arts XP is good because I'm investing in that. Right, I've got a big sort of army here. This is pillage, need to repair it. No, it's not pillage actually, I was lying. Cop, this is a vassal. I don't need this big of an army to defend just a vassal that barbarians just suicided into. Uh, what, what else? Uh, Dresden kind of growing. It's got two iron. What building can do something with iron? Limestone, a quarry, a mill, mine. I don't know what kind of building does anything with iron. I don't think I have anything. A kiln? Clay? Into bricks? No. Nope. I don't know. Uh, uh, but over here... The city attack should finish these people off. How far are you from a catapult? I don't know. Capital attack? Oh, I've already done it this turn? Oh. That's right, so I did. What can I turn cloth into? Uh, a scribe takes one paper and turns it into knowledge manuscripts. Okay, I want to do that. I need that. That'd be good. Why are the needs red for Prague? It's because I've lost the food thing from that terrible bad event. It's not getting food. All right, now we're talking. I'm going to send my merchant and my city guard to kill this enemy knight. Right, watch this. Oh, my merchant doesn't fight. Oh. Oh, come on. That's complete bullshit. Like, my my fighting peasants are useless, whereas the fighting peasants of Bruno are, like, absolute gods. Oh, both is useless in the game, in my opinion. Well, who cares? Um, These people need to repair... Need to heal up. 
that's what is that do grapes or rice uh, ai cheating confirmed it seems to be the case a rank a ranch just gathers exploration xp which is useless hmm large plantation paper maker yeah I just need to save up for that scribe thing okay right now what's next this army is doing nothing over here actually they can explore up north they can do some exploring. Anything here still unpillaged? Forester raised. Forester, that's not raised. Raise it. Enter. There is a way to triple units attacking damage. Well, who, who knows? I'd love to know. Um, no. Um, that's been pillaged again. By the enemy knight who I can't touch. Stetton is rebelling because it's getting destroyed. This game can really fucking... It really fucks you over so much. Is the Scouse army dead? Yeah. This game really, 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 really fucks you over. How did they go from making shit like Europa and Victoria to this? This is a published game. But anyway, I've got my big army, so look, maybe this will finish off the city, right? This is huge. Let's see how this is. Walls are destroyed, okay? They should just all die now. This is it. The peasants, they will just die. Well, they've knocked out my commander with one wave of combat. Right? One peasant dead. Good. Right. Now they're about to knock out my knight. No. Two peasants dead. Knight knocked out. Don't forget to say what. Peasants knocked out. Come on. Oh well, not great. These ones can repair here. Oh. What was it I wanted to make again? Well, I wanted to make a scribe thingy, but I don't have any space. Like, what I want to do is clear some forests so I can get room. How do I do that? Actually, I'll tell you what. Right. Claim territory. Now I can build it. Now that is allowing me to get technology faster. That should be really good. Right. Why combat looks so bad? I don't know. You'll have to ask the developers why they did this. We've got a lot of barbarians to the north here, so I'll take them down. Right, is there anything that is still unpillaged in Manchester? Cardiff's farm is not currently pillaged, so we'll do something about that. There you go. Prague. Make a crossbow. Capital attack. Right. right, surely this time my low health city guard can kill this knight. Yes! Yes! That's more like it, but published by Paradox, yeah. Finally, some good fucking news. Stettin has been pillaged. What the fuck? Uh, right, right, an innovation, an innovation. This is a really good thing. So, my knightly units can get plus five defense and plus five morale. I'll take it. Upgraded my knights. Response to demand accepted. What demand? I don't know. So the enemy knights in here just fought off my big army. So what I'll do is give them a, a reinforcement to heal them. Oh my god. It's absolutely brutal. Fix the mound. Right, these guys are under attack now, so what I will do is get them to safety. Oh, they will not be safe. That way. Uh, they might die, they might die. 
Is there an dynasty innovation with the pop-up? I can get this palace region level, but that doesn't matter. I'm waiting to get something else to change my government type, maybe. See, this castle is actually coming in quite useful, because Scotland is trying to send more armies down this way. Oh, but London has expanded down here to Poole. They've formed the, the town of Poole there. Yeah, we need to be wary of that. That is a Scottish explorer. Hmm. They also have an army here. Quite a big one. Now Dresden is getting unrest. So there's a war unrest. We need to cancel that and start building another city guard. And I'm going to rush it so that it's a pretty instant thing. Right? Good. I can get this legacy thing if I build five burial mounds, but I don't have that. Um, I'm going to get that so that I can spend more on upgrading shit. Tell you what, maybe I am going to build another mound. Revolutionary Elbians wants to fucking offer peace. Uh, of course they do. Listen though, I'll happily end the war with Scotland. If they'll accept peace. In Prague, nothing really to build. More. Another knight. My knights are really upgraded now, so I'll build them. Uh, this one still needs more city guards. Yeah, hmm. Why are these red? We don't have people working the farms because Prague doesn't have a high enough population, I think. So we're not getting wheat. But we're still producing bread out of all that. Why are you forcing yourself to play this game? Mate! Hey. Why would you say something like that? That's the question. Because I'm enjoying this. Like, there are so many other things that I could play, or nothing at all. I'm actively choosing to play this, and I'm fine with it. We're just going through a really difficult period in the game, and it's fucking me over. That thing, that sort of thing happens in any game. Like this, for example, right? The game really fucks you over. What's this going to be? I get, like, no, they, re they reject my peace, and now I've got massive new enemies spawning in every fucking region. Jesus. Right, they just spawn pikes. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. Now, this is the big attack on Bruno. This should finish it off, right? Wow. I don't have any thoughts on that. Good or new. I've never played it. If this doesn't end Bernal and capture it for me, then I don't know. Alright, five population killed. Brilliant. That's my people. Okay, good. We've got Bernal back. Wow. Okay, right. Finally, finally, some good news. You know, I think I need to take this army away and help down south because we have some bullshit going on everywhere. Like this army. Also coming back down to help. Because we are, we are fucked. We have got... That chaos event spawns things everywhere. Bruno? Bruno becomes a vassal again! Oh, what? This wasn't a vassal before. That's bullet. Oh, shit. Can I use... I need to bring this back up to normal status. I'm using integrate vassal. 
I need it back. Okay, I'm about to get pillaged and destroyed everywhere. Right. Probably. Jesus Christ. I, I hope all these rebels are independence for what's this? Satan has just broken away. Oh my god. What? What? Oh my god. Okay. Well that that just Oh my fucking god. This game actually. You know it's I am torn. I was enjoying it, but the amount the degree to which it's fucking me over for no apparent reason is insane right now. Like, I've lost another city. Does Scotland accept peace? No, I have to wait two turns to know. Um, finish this bard camp. You know, let's have a victory somewhere. Warfare XP. I'm going to need some Warfare XP to spawn a new army. Copper, are you okay? Uh, they'll be fine. The barbs are not winning. Dresden, also about to fucking rebel. Let's build an army here. One pikeman. Uh, I just researched an army upgrade. We've got long swords and pikes, right? That, maybe that will be my saving grace. I don't know. Okay. Um, what's next? This army here needs to just hold the line. Next tech? Honestly, who cares? Machines. What if I go back and get construction? Smelting, because I can I don't know, I can do iron stuff. Revolutionary attack has appeared, yeah, I know. Let's declare hostilities now just to get it over with. Do they actually accept peace? Did Scotland actually accept peace with me? Right? We are hostile, but they're not going to come and invade me, I think, okay? Alright. There's some good news for a change. Okay? Good. One thing I can do, though, is send a merchant over to Brno to collect wealth there. Alright, we're going to come back from this. I, I swear, I swear. Stream 3 of not beating millennia. Well, not all bad. It's not all bad. We still haven't killed this bloody thing here. Wait, what? They spawned more. Barbarian. I can't even kill a basic barbarian amount of shit over here. Game is... Oh, paradox. Why did they have to rush this game out before they balanced it? Holy shit. So... Dresden... What's happening in this city anyway? It's about to shrink. Still has massive unrest. Uh... Build a city guard and rush it. That should turn the unrest around. Otherwise, you know, I think I might... Well, I can rush the culture and get something cultural done. I can integrate that for 38 government points. And it immediately goes to shit because it doesn't have food. But I can sort that, right? Can I build a, a farm? Can't build farms anymore, but I can build a hunting camp. That solves it. Okay, right. Okay, Corpus. We're sorting that out. Can I do a peaceful revolution? 
Wait, I have that. So, it says here, uh, in order to do peaceful revolution, requires the reformed ideal. I can't do it. Strange. What I can do, however, is maybe just give Cottbus its town. Right? Maybe I'll just do that. And can we be bothered naming them in these desperate times that we live in right now? Not really. No. Suicided in there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to send out all the city guard to fight this. Uh, now the problem is that outside the city. But we'll go back in. Next turn. Heal. Yes, yes, ordinary browser. I know. Mobile game battle window. Okay, right. I mean, if you watch my Millennia streams, you'll see me calling how bad it looks. You'll, you'll see me saying that every time, about 100 times per stream, right? I get it. I get it. Yes. It looks like ass. We all know. Um, there's nothing to do with this merchant other than just sit and do nothing. Auto battle is not a bad thing. Well, what they need to do is just get rid of the battle entirely. Like, get, give us an option to just completely and utterly turn off the battle screen forever. Uh, stores, domestic export slots, that's actually what I need, I don't know. For, well, the tobacco thing is long gone. Dresden, what do they need? Uh, my war exhaustion should go down. Right? Because I'm not at war anymore, maybe? Yeah, no, yes, exa exactly Northumbrian, that's true. Pop bus over here. Yes. Uh... Mount. The thing is, right? Look at this. What's this? My walls in Dresden have been destroyed. Okay, cool. Thanks. The thing is, right? The more this campaign turns to shit, and the more badly this goes, all it does, it kind of just makes me want to start a new one. Right? You know what I mean? and try and undo any mistakes I made in this one. Scotland's armies are back in my land, uh, and they've raised me. I thought we weren't at war anymore. Are we still at war? Oh, we're at war. What? <laughs> I thought we made peace. Does anyone in chat recall what happened there? What the actual fuck? What happened there? What happened? A new... Dresden has rebels. Just one stack of rebels spawned at Dresden, right? We can handle that. Also, you're still hostile. No, we're actually at war. Please reassign the workers in Dresden. Please don't backseat me. Reject peace. No, mate, it said we're at war. I'm just reading what it said. So. And, you know, I mean, after this stream, right? I did say this is the last time I'm going to stream this game, probably. I might play it off stream, for what it's worth. So, 
four city guards sitting in Dresden is finally lowering the unrest a little bit. Maybe feels a little bit heavy handed, I don't know. Have you seen any endgame content at all, Spudgar? No, I haven't made it there yet. A one round truth, so the AI just immediately went back. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Response to demand accepted. Okay. So, are we at peace again? Go to Scotland and then look at me. At war. What? How would you rate your experience so far? There's a lot of things I like about this game. But it's at the same time a little bit ridiculous in some ways. Like this, right? Constantly flip-flopping. I just killed William Wallace. Constantly flip-flopping back and forth between being at war or not. I don't know what's going on. These guys just killed my fucking unit, mate. Oh my god. Right, you two. I have to send the city guard out again. It's my choice. So, this army here has returned. It should just say you won the battle and give you a thing to click if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you get attacked by AI in this game, there's a little pop-up on the map and you can click it if you want to see the battle. It should be like that for every battle, maybe. Right? Not forced you to look through it every time. Every time you attack someone. Okay, so... Prosperity in this battle. Right, good. You think this game can be great if they continue working on it and fix the problems? Yes. That is a perfectly legitimate concern, Anno. I mean, given what they just did to that Star Trek game, they, they could pull the plug on any game at any time if it doesn't perform very well. You know? How about fishing? But I can't build anything at Burrow, actually, because it's, it's a vassal. Uh, so I can't do that. We can build a, a grape plantation here, maybe. I can only build ploughed farms and large plantations now, which is huge, and they require a lot of points that I don't have. Will you stream Guild of Destiny when it releases? But yes, they just wiped out one of my armies in one turn, somehow. Cool. For the first time, we have fishing boats. And it's in an inland lake fishing as well. Yeah, one of my armies just got completely wiped out. No counterplay. Awesome. Uh, just basically catching up on all the tech that I sort of overlooked previously. We can build something in Prague. Now we can probably build a new building based on some tech we just got, or can we? No, maybe not. I've got catapults now though. I've got catapults. So I'm just going to build some units. Actually, let's, let's make a barracks first. I think they'll abandon it because of cells, but I don't know if this game sold well. Look, I'll show you right... Well, I, yeah, I can show you right now. One of the things I dislike about this game, of course, is uh, that we already have... There's already three DLC lined... A cosmetic pack lined up. Right, they don't have a release date. Well, I think maybe they do, unofficially. Quarter three, quarter four. There's DLC planned for it already, right? So, and the, the premium edition, I do believe, gives you those DLC. So... This game has an obligation of two future DLC products that they have to make because people have already bought them. If anyone was stupid enough to buy the premium premium edition of this game, they are they now have that. And a game that kind of didn't sell well, had a massive marketing campaign that was oversized for what it was, probably lost money. 
Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is an overall a, a bad situation, right? A terrible marketing thing. But within it, there's the, just some good stuff has happened out of this game, right? Uh, and I wouldn't be playing it right now if I didn't see some good aspects to this game that I liked, genuinely. You know what I'm like with Paradox? I write everything off as slop and I hate on them a lot, so I wouldn't be playing this if I didn't see that. Something good about it. Obviously. Uh, shall we try and make peace with Scotland again? Let's see them say yes and then not actually make peace. Uh, I'm declaring war on Stent, so I'm going to take them back. I swear. If it's the last thing I ever do, we're taking back my rightful city, Stettin. Ah, screw it, I'm getting that. I'm going to get a bigger region level here and see if that does anything. Ugh, look at all this shit I'm not producing anymore. Wow. I don't know what that means, really. All these red things, I don't know exactly what they mean for me. Maybe people just not working. Well, I've got plundered stuff. That helps. Have you ever heard of Grey Eminence? Yes, I've talked about it on streams many times. Uh, Im Imperator Rome Fate after a few mixed DLCs, maybe. Uh, well, yes, Harry Lion. I think in this case it looks like the, the influence Paradox has is big. Just because they're following the Paradox formula so much. Like, they're following the DLC formula, the constant development formula. All of it. Now, what does Cottbus really need right now? Well, this place has massive unrest as well. So what they actually need, of course, is a city guard, obviously. News from abroad. The Aztecs have decked on my enemy there. Good. Who are these people absolutely pillaging the shit out of Dresden? Is it just more Scottish people? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, fix the farm. I've got an army over here that I can put to some proper use. Mound Tradition level 2, or... Capitals require half as much food per population. Yes, please. That sounds good. That's massively boosted the food in Prague. I guess that's good. Maybe this means I can take some production away from some food. But I'm not sure what. I need to put someone in the weaver. Right, I'm taking someone out of the forester and putting them in the weaver. What's wrong with the weaver? Is it pillaged? Is that what it is? Scribe, mill, paper maker. Is that the weaver underneath that? I don't know. Is that my... I don't know what... I don't really know what's going on anymore. Is my weaver not working? Help. Is it because there's an enemy unit on it? Grassland, Prague, destroy. But what is it? What's that building underneath that Scottish unit? Oh god, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, there's, what, there's four pops in this forest. And it goes out with a scream. I can't... I can't take people out of it. And... Aye, someone should be working in the scribe. That gives me some tech. Hmm... More people in the grassland. I don't know. There's a lot. There is some deep management to this. 
if I could figure it out. I think the Aztecs killed that Scottish unit, which is nice of them. Ah, this army, we got to go and help with the main fight. Okay. This army, we got to kill these people. Yeah, that was the Weaver. That was the big Weaver that the Scottish people were standing on top of. Now there's a pop working in it, but it's... Uh, if I can figure this out. It should be converting two wool into that, I think. Is it doing that? Wool, cotton or flax. Conversion requirements unmet. Cannot create these. Um, a large flax plantation is producing two flax, which should go into the weaver. Which should then go into the scribe. That seems to be happening. Is it happening? Anyone in chat want to... Anyone in chat know what's going on there? That's coffee, not flax. Ah, oh, yeah. Right. So don't. I do have a flax place in this, though. Thank you. I did have a flax place that was produced. That was producing flax. Ah, but the Scots are on it now. That's it. Okay. They're just standing on it, which means I can't use it. That's all it is. I'm really looking forward to getting all these technologies I can't use in any way, shape, or form for anything. I, <laughs> yeah, lose one population in Dresden. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Even though I have, I had four city guards in it. Um, all right, where are the Scottish armies here now? Okay, let's go and get them. We'll just, we'll just keep going and see if we can salvage anything out of this. Okay, we're, we're done. Okay. Let's start a new one, guys. Right, what are we feeling? What sort of nation are we feeling? I'll give this game one more try. I'm giving the game one more try. I like the idea of building up from the start again, right? Because you can really manage things that are going on and think about it. Like for, I don't know what happened there, really, but we're going to do a good run and we're going to try. Give it one more try. We're going to play Burgundy. New game, custom game, nation builder, Burgundy. All right, this... That flag probably looks the closest to Burgundy. Uh, we will have French cities and French towns. And I'll pick my bonus after. So we got Burgundy, right? Burgundy, let's do it. And we're gonna go up against the Albion Confederation, Bavaria. All right, let's fucking go. Maybe the game is really not focused around war. It is actually, on the contrary, it really is focused around war. The AI always decks on you, there's lots of different units and things. The game, well the game is built around war by all the fucking war shit that's in it, yet it punishes you, punishes you for being in a war. A war that you cannot get out of because there's no leeway with the AI at all. And you know what, let's make a huge map this time so we're just fucking far away from the AI, maybe. However, before I go into this run, I am going to get a cup of tea. We're going to come back to it fresh. I leave. I need my tea. So that run didn't end well. Um, the game is getting mixed for me. I, I I have a lower opinion of the game after that run now, even though I was kind of positive about it. I was having fun. You know, we're swinging from side to side on the opinion of this game as we play. But I'm going to get a cup of tea, come back fresh, start a new run, 
and it'll be my last run that I ever stream of this. I may play it more off stream afterwards. We'll see. Okay, thank you for playing. Uh, thank you for watching so far. Stay right where you are. I'll be back in a minute or two. All right, I am back. I'm back, everyone. Hello. Playing wider tall. Well, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I even changed the title of the stream to maybe put together some more viewers. Of course, you know, the viewer count thing, the viewer count situation confirms that this will be my last stream of it. Because uh, there's not but there's not very much consistency to YouTube streaming, right? Uh, it's all over the place with views. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's not much. So what we will do is choose our starting bonus, I guess, right? Uh, I feel like this game is this game seems to uh, seems to favour a tall playthrough with your capital being the main thing. The most telling thing about the chat and all that right now is that none of the main people who watched 
like the millennia playthrough, the people that subbed and donated and everything on the last one, and we're here at the start of this one. None of them are here anymore. Uh, none of the people from last time, or none of the people who were here earlier, fucking... Well, Hull's here, actually. That's that's a good sign. That's a better sign. No, I mean really earlier and earlier at the start of the stream. That's what I mean. Put the DM in. I, no, that'll be my next run, but it'll be off stream. So, let me do... Uh, mm. Oh, you know, I, I really liked starting with a scout in the last one. It's really good. You know, if you discover three monuments or landmarks yourself, you can launch the Age of Heroes. If you're playing a large map, maybe go for a, a movement buff. If I play a large, a huge map, then that's also another good reason to have a scout start. Why is the Burgundy symbol Egyptian? Because this is the symbol that looks most like the Burgundian flag. Even though the, the, the colours are inverted, though. Uh, you know, it's the closest thing. It's supposed to be a white background with a red cross, but eh, the colours are right. The colours are right for it, okay? Now, we need to get rid of China because it will have the same flag as the Albians. Let's put France... No. Yeah, no, let's have France. That's that's fine. Honestly, I can't trust watching any other content creators play this game. I'll tell you someone who played this game that was given a fair and honest crack at it, which was Habibi. He did a video or he has streamed this game. If you want to watch another content creator that's trustworthy and good on this game, go check out Habibi. So, yeah, he did a video. He commented or he replied to my tweet about this game or something as well. I don't think this game is worth $40. You know what is worth $40? Bud Gun Super Chats or memberships are worth $40. So, um, I'm going to start with the Scout. Uh, I'm going to give everyone else a random bonus. Uh, there is no Steam Workshop yet. Well, that doesn't matter. You know, people can just make mods off of, off of Steam Workshop, just like the old days. You know what? Actually, that's a good point, Canadian Twin. That, that, that is another damning point about this game. You know, if this playthrough highlights loads of the problems with the game again, I might, at the end of it, after like three streams of this game, I might, I might go on to Steam and I might give this its negative review. I might negatively review this game for all the problems, like launching without multiplayer. Just another fuck you to Paradox. It's not, the review wouldn't be a fuck you to Paradox. It would be legitimate. It's more like, I just want to send, show Paradox that they just should not fucking do this. They do not release unfinished games. Do not force these little small published developers to work and pu push out a game that's not ready. Yeah, Paradox again coming in, making us use their third-party modding thing instead of Steam Workshop as well. You know, I hate it all. I hate what they're doing. Now, let's go. Oh my god, can we get some hype in the chat for starting? As you progressed in the last stream, the game kept screwing you, screwing you over and over again. Yeah. Well, did you see what happened on this stream? Can we get some millennia hype in the chat? This is like, you know... Fourth or fifth time we've done that on a new millennia playthrough. Each time it's less viewers. Each time the hype is less. <laughs> Marseille, fuck that. We are on verse. We on verse here. That's what we're doing. Hype, hype, hype. So first thing we do, we start scouting everywhere. Looking for those little villages. Looking for those landmarks. All right. Our technology... Oh my god, you know what? I'm going all out on scouting. I'm getting scouting first. Wow. Why not? And I'm building a scout. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm building a town centre for government XP, actually. Let's not be completely ridiculous. The Wheel of Time begins yet another rotation. Yeah, can you think we can make it past like 100 turns this time? We'll see. Village, very good. Is that a landmark as well? Holy shit. Age of Heroes, let's go for it. Oh my god, the hype is real. Oh my god. Village, what are we getting? Uh, production on Onvers. Production is big. Production is big. I can build this turn center faster. Good good stuff, good stuff. End turn. Oh my god. Yes, uh, ZB steps. 
Why wouldn't you? We're scouting. We're scouting. We're still scouting. Village. Big. Big. Oh, plus one food. Plus one food from government. Good. We can build our town. Village. Uh, oh my god. I spawned another scout. I spawned another... I spawned two scouts! What the actual fuck? We are scouting. You have no idea how much scouting is going to go on right now. You saw that number plate in Glasgow the other day. Thought it may have been yours. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. You know, Spud is actually not that uncommon a nickname. It's in fucking train spotting, right? So, we're going to create the first town next to all of ours. I'm going to put it outside the borders, which is the meta. And we're going to put it there. Limoges? No, no thanks. You know what's going to happen, right? We're getting the map out. We're going to go over to the real Anvers, which is in Belgium somewhere. Don't actually know exactly where it is. Uh... Where is Anvers actually? Oh, it's Antwerp. Oh, right. It's the French version of Antwerp and Antwerp. Okay. Well, this is interesting because we might have a little bit of cultural overlap here because we might end up making some kind of Dutch name because this is a Dutch area. Flemish. Why have I never put two and two together and realised that Anvers is Antwerp? Why have I never realised that? I've never actually thought about it. Anyway, um, Edgem, Lint. I like the village, the village of L the town of Lint. French Google Maps. I'm not in French Google Maps. I'm Google Maps does this thing. It, it localizes everything, right? It gives you the names of places in their own language. Um, Edgem, Lint, Duffel. Is this the, uh, is Duffel the origin, the place where this, the bag and the type of coat were, all came from? Liar, Bevel, Neil, Schelle, Schelle, um, Temse, St. Gilles, Vaas, Zweindrecht. Boom. <laughs> Wait, where's that? Where's Boom? Boom, as it would be pronounced. Boom. Where do you see it, guys? On the screen right now, or this isn't France. This isn't French. South, south. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, that's it. Sorted. Fucking sorted. It's close enough to Antwerp. You could sort of maybe even consider it a suburb. Let's have a look in Boom. Down here in the centre. Right. What have we got? Boom. Oh, oh, that's nice. Nice church. That does, doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice. Nah, it's, I'm getting bad vibes from this place. I don't like boom. I mean, who the fuck is that? Who, who's that? Come on. What is this place? Fucking look at that. Oh my god. Just a fucking bin bag covering up an old fucking lamppost. Jesus. This place is shite. Boarded up. Boarded up buildings. Oh, this is nicer down here though. This is a nicer road. Some nicer old buildings here. Maybe the old town. What's this? Hmm. Some kind of little restaurant. What do we think? France has fallen. It's not France, it's Belgium, which is which explains why it's a shithole. Uh, a boomer. A boomer is a citizen of boom. Oh, yeah. It looks pretty decent. It looks nicer down there with older buildings, but this whole town square here doesn't look good. Like these, Some of these buildings are shit. Just don't like it. What are they all up to? Yep. 
most prosperous Belgian town. What's plural in Walloon? Plural of what? What's that flag? Oh, it's gone now. It's gone in this timeline. Anyway, um, you know, we've got to immerse ourselves in the culture of the nation we're creating here. So I think we can end turn on that, on that bombshell. Uh, a barb battle just happened as well. I'm not interested though. I'm going to send my scouts off in every different direction. And heal my warrior. Okay, we're about to research scouting as well. Holy shit. Another scout just dropped. Oh, village. Village. Oh, we're getting them everywhere. See, because of the amount of villages we can get from all these scouts, it actually pays off, right? They pay for the investment I'm putting into them with the bonuses you get from these things. Why does this game look like those mobile ripoffs from the Play Store? Yes, yes, another one of those comments. I mean, you're right, but I've just heard it 150,000 times now. It's true, but come on. Can we come up with original things? Hunting camp needed here. Uh, yeah. So it is important to increase the food in Overs. Uh, I'm not able to build a farm because I haven't researched farming. I will do that now though. Farming next. We can also get this power which is spawn a warband? Nah, not, not necessary. I'm going to go for knowledge next. Government XP? Yes, government XP for that knowledge. That's huge. Uh, knowledge or culture? Ooh. Uh, well, that's a tough call. What benefits can I get from culture right now? It's good that you can minimize that so I can look at culture. Oh, no, actually, I was wrong. You can't do that. I can't look at the culture thing to see what you can get from culture. Cool, right. Can't do much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowledge. Knowledge is huge right now. Early tech. Oh, we found Japan. We're, we're this close to Japan already, and they're going to go to war with me in like 10 turns, probably. Not a good sign, actually. Being that close to someone on a, on a huge map. Yeah, here we go. Can we, let's, can we get good relations with these people already? Propose open borders. Let's see what they say to that. Can we not have it be a war village? On Vars now, uh, what are we building? Um, Dolmen for influence. I think influence building would be good. Is the soundtrack for this game any good? Yes, it is actually. Yeah. I'll give the game credit on one thing. It's got a nice soundtrack. Genuinely. Rejected. Well, there it is. That's the beginning of the end for relations with Japan. Uh, they will go to war with me. That's another barb camp. Farming. Uh, um, what do we actually need? The tribal elders thing would be... But workers... I mean, we do need to go more into production. And we need to go more into upgrade points. By the way, I need to get the knowledge thing. I think I missed that for a turn. Which is really, really bad gameplay. Really suboptimal there from me. Really bad. Slop optimal. Village. Oh, I can grab that. Yes. Exploration or Warfare XP. Warfare XP. That scout might die, but it was worth it. And there's a lot more to replace him where that came from. Just joined. How's Millennia so far? Well, I, I'm sorry to not answer your question, but I've, I've talked about it so much and answered it many times already. 
I don't want to repeat again, again. That scout got a way to get a new village. Big. Big gameplay. Uh, oh, this is a bit bad situation for this scout. Go over there and try and survive. Right. Okay. Um, uh, a culture and a research coming next turn. Manvars is growing its borders a lot. Like, really, a lot. Spawn Warband. That'll keep the scout alive. Maybe. Uh, can we make it? Can that scout live? Culture power. You're right, there's not much to do. What I will do is go for Age of Bronze and use a Eureka on it. And get that done a lot quicker, maybe. Um, six turns. Scout bros, we got too cocky. If anyone wants to give a super chat or a, uh, a membership or anything, I'll name one of my scouts after you. Because uh, these scouts are legendary, this game. I'm doing a scouting build on a huge map. This is uh, very important. Now, yes, we really do need to make something. Maybe... Well, what's this resource up here? Uh... We can... a quarry? Can I build that now? No, I need to build some kind of tech for that. Well, a clay pit is good. A clay pit gives... a clay resource, I guess. And I'll build it next to Limoges. For an adjacency bonus. Uh, did that scout die? No, he survived. No, I don't want to watch that. Hold on, let me get my tea. Well, that scout survived because he, he spawned a warband out of a, a thingy. I can pay some. So I can play, pay some exploration points to heal them, which is good because uh, oh, village, exploration points really aren't very good. Actually, ah, an archer. Not bad. Maybe we can. Oh, can I discover that now? Yes. Good. That's pretty good. If I get two more landmarks, I can spawn the Age of Heroes. Think about that. Uh, I should be maybe looking to get a second city, uh, a settler soon. Because we have a lot of space. Early seafarers is the play this game, what do you think? I don't know, probably not. Oh, village, yeah, we're getting a lot of villages. Village maxing out here. Right, this uh, this scout died, unfortunately. The archer lived. Chinese star. I'll name my scout, one of my scouts after you. I'm not sure which one. Uh, and there's a lot of barbs out here. What I need to do is flank this scout around to get to the village. Navy would be cool. I guess it would. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Knowledge, huge. And another landmark. We might be going Age of Heroes here, guys. Oh my god, we're getting Age of Heroes. We've got three landmarks. I just need to officially discover them. Age of Heroes, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't come up with one. I'm just going to call it the Chinese Scout. Uh, which Scout is it going to actually be? This one here. This is the legendary Scout. Chinese Spy? Chinese Spy. Burgundy's been working with the Asian hub box a little bit. Oh dear.
This archer is fighting a fucking guerrilla war in the forest. Um, okay, what we're going to do with them is go around. That's good. Alright, you officially discover this. Mount Fuji. We discovered Mount Fuji before the Japanese did. <laughs> that's a little, that's mildly funny, isn't it? And the Chinese spy has gained a rank as well. Well, that's a warrior. Oh, village. Amazing. I need to... Okay, this scout will wheel all the way around and get to that. You. Garrison Alvarez. Um... Yeah, build up those improvement points. Government, homeland improvement points. That's very good. Cheers. The Age of Spud. This is the playthrough, right? I could spawn a new scout. Um, nah. I can heal this one with my points instead of spawning a new one. Unless it dies. Right, this is, this is me, isn't it? This is me. Yes, for once. Isn't this the first time I've ever got into a new age myself? For the first time? Alright, these archers are getting harassed. Uh, this warrior... Oh, this scout is being followed. Uh, will he make it? I'm going to heal him and keep moving around. Oh my god, a fourth one! Oh, we're spawning the age of Mega Gigachad legendary heroes out here. What is going on? Another village. Uh, innovation, actually, is huge. Innovation is huge. This warrior, keep defending. The Mega Age of Hero Gigachad Age. Now, what are we going to go for? Uh, saw pit, crane. Mining, because I do have some stuff that I can mine near my capital city. Ah, the national spirit, of course. This is a um, this is a big choice, and I'm still not exactly sure exactly you know what's good here. I do, I mean, one of the exploration ones could actually be a good thing. I I can go for an exploration build this time, because I've I've really themed it around that so far. So one of these three would be good. Early seafarers is for scouts. I just like boats. We do have coastline quite near us that we could make use of. Naturalists leverage the terrain to their advantage, foraging to gain bonuses. A lots of resources without having to spend as many improvement points. So they can get plus one, plus one food from foraging unimproved tiles. Capital city plus two housing. Not bad. Expand faster into forest, deep forest tiles. Reduce the cost of expansion into forest. Hmm. The housing in the capital, good for playing tall. Nationalists. You mean naturalists, mate. I don't have any forest to chop down near me. So alternatively, we have wild hunters. Bow hunter, elephant. I think these could, these could be good. Housing improvements plus one food. Two bonus food for meat goods. And we do have meat. We have a hunting camp around here, don't we? Meat goods. Cattle will be included in that. I'm already generating a meat from just a, a normal hunting camp I have. That would be good. I'm feeling that one. Housing improvements. Wild Hunters is the one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it, boys. We're going all out on exploration this time. I'm feeling that because in the past when we've... Exploration points have not been useful to me in my previous runs. I haven't done anything with them. So this time, you can make elephants go extinct as Wild Hunters. I want to see... Uh, with this thing here for 30 points I can reveal elephants. I might have elephants around on Vaz for all I know. Who knows? We can't see them now until we unlock a special tech. You know, there could be elephants, but we're not sure. Oh! Rip to that. Can we get an F in the chat for that archer? It's officially dead now. 
No, don't want to see the battle. I want to get the village. Uh, government XP? Yeah, government XP is huge. You're just defending. Uh, get the village. Knowledge or culture this time? Uh, elephants escaped the Onver Zoo. There might be something better to do with culture coming up, I don't know. But um, a, a knowledge boost is just a solid, straight up, reliable thing. Hmm. Anno says go for knowledge. Spawn settler with culture. I can spawn a settler with my government points, which I also just gained. Can you actually spawn a settler with culture though? Because I, I could use my government points for the tribal the tribal innovation bonus. Uh okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, knowledge this time then, yeah, knowledge. I can spawn the settler now. Uh I'm gonna do it, I think. Uh, ooh, we've got barbs all over the place. Like, in every direction, there's barbs I would have to deal with. Maybe over here. A couple of sheep. A, a bit of wheat. Or... Oh, no, 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 right. This is... Uh, okay, right. I'm getting that. Before I actually make the settler and expand out, I'm going to clear some barbs. But and now I'm going to get the innovation bonus and some culture. That's also really good. And I'm going to make a warband to help me clear out those barbs. Now, where can I spawn aforementioned warband? The AI will get aggro in either way. Yeah, probably. Tech Rush, Major Heroes. Yeah, I did that anyway. So, hopefully this scout can survive long enough to get round to this wonder, which is Stonehenge or some shit. I can also do volunteers now. How do I actually use the thingy to spawn my warband? When does when can I do that? Um, bow hunters are a pretty strong unit. I'm gonna end the turn. In any case, uh, this scout survived. Good. Uh, I think the scout might be fucked either way. Heal up with points. Wasted points, to be honest. I just wanted to survive to get that thingy. Oh, let's build a pasture for the cows. We're growing. We're growing. We're getting a lot of food and we're growing. The scout is already near a wonder. What do you, I'm going for this one. Oh, that one there. Oh, I missed that one. Because there's so many, right? Either one of them would be fine. What we build in an Onvers. Meeting hall gives Diplo XP. Don't care for that. Work camp production and engineering XP. That's really good. Can he survive? Uh, we'll see. I don't want to use more points on that. Killed that barb. Right. Hmm. Spawn volunteers though. What happened? What happened to that warband that I thought I could build? Right. What happened to it? Barbs here, barbs everywhere. Oh, that, my God! Look at that overpowered barb. 
Come on, come on, discover it, discover it, yes! Dark forest. You know what that means? Age of Heroes. Landmarks discovered three out of three. Now we just need to get through some techs and we're, we've got it. So, in order to deal with the barb and then maybe expand, I need to... Right. I'm going to get bow hunters. You said they were a pretty good unit. I'd like one, please. Looks pretty good. Well, that barb attacked, but my army didn't die at all. I think the bow hunters actually saved that army. Uh, now I got a free pioneer. Uh, would you care to reveal some gold? Is that what you can do? No, all you can do is spawn an outpost. Now, can we survive this scout? And this scout as well. Also, all you're just discovering is just the, the barbs. Just more barbs is all we're discovering. Uh, I've got a culture power. Prospect, does it? Yeah, that's right. You know what? Just using my Eureka again, just to make sure I get that fucking Age of Heroes. Let's get the quickest tech. One of them. One of them anyway. Community. And then Eureka that shit. Um... That barb will suicide into Lima. Oh, for fuck's sake. The game's already fucking me over. Hunters from Burgundy. Plus one bonus culture from meat goods. That's good. That is excellent. Because I do have meat goods. Look at that. Look at the absolute fucking state of this. Fuck me. I mean, that's my only city. I want to scout the leader if you don't need it anymore. Thank you. Let's do it. This one can be a leader. I mean, I'm going to... This scout can come up north. And then get that other thingy I didn't find. This shit is fucking me up. I mean, what can I even use a pioneer for? I can build an outpost. That's no use for me. Actually, no. Wait, no, no. I'm wrong. Outposts can be useful. You can build resources at outposts. Unless it dies. It just instantly died to that. Oh, my God. This, you know, see, like, this game is getting negatively reviewed. I'm sorry. This game is getting negatively reviewed when I'm done with this sesh. This game is just the absolute state of the balance on this game, right? When I write the review, I'll put some time and effort into my review, okay? And I'm going to explain all my points. And I'm going to be sure to point out the positives, alright? But it's getting a negative review. It deserves it. It fucking deserves it. Do you know what's happening, right? What happened with, with the reviews? The When the game first came out, people saw how it looked and they gave it negative reviews, right? Everyone was like, oh my god, it looks shit. And it got mostly negative reviews. And then people started playing it and they're like, oh, it's not so bad, actually, got some good mechanics. But then the next level is, ah, it's actually unbalanced, you know, really unbalanced. Uh, there's lots of problems even in the mechanics. It's like the IQ chart, right? The really low IQ is, oh, this game fucking sucks because it looks like horse shit. The mid IQ is, oh, this game actually is good. All those stupid low IQ people saying it sucks just because it looks bad. But then the high, the really high IQ is negative. The ultimate negative review. And I'm going to go for that, the latter one there. Okay. Does that make any sense? I think it does. Now, let's uh, send this guy up. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, that sort of shit is just instant. That's run killing stuff. Quarry with marble. Is a, uh, can I build the quarry? Yeah. This gives me a big production boost. Gives me some marble. Yeah. My pops have to do something now that they've lost, like, two things that they used to be working in.
Well, the Barb Warlord guy is dead now. So I need to use a culture power to rebuild a town. I need I need engineering points. That's what I need. I need my engineering XP to rebuild the town, actually. Uh, spawn a warband? The warband's the shittiest unit. That's a waste of points. Is there an IQ for not buying it because of the price? That... You don't get an opinion if you don't buy it. Maybe that's... Yeah, you just don't bother at all with anything. Uh, Pioneers in the outpost and settlers have zero combat value. Well, I wouldn't have thought that. I thought a pioneer sounds like a unit that would at least be able to fight back like a scout. Right? It, it makes sense to me that a pioneer would be able to fight back at least a little bit. doesn't have to be a great unit, but they would have some kind of combat ability. It stands to reason. What I'm doing now is just, I'm going to consolidate my units, uh, take everyone back, heal them up, and launch a massive fight against the barbs out there. I can spawn my settler. By the way, no, listen, Swifter, I've seen settlers. I have seen settlers fight in battles before. People watching me previously will see it. People remember that. Chat, you, some of you remember seeing my settlers actually fighting. I swear to God, it's true. I can use my culture power, but... Uh, well, no, raise army this time. Two warbands, better than nothing. Yeah, Polyanus, right. Uh, I would use a Eureka, but I think we're already well on our way to getting Age of Heroes, even without another Eureka. I'm going to use it on an army this time. Settlers are stronger than warbands, lol. Can I see their combat? Oh yeah, it says they have 30 HP. Attack 5, defense 14. What? They are literally better than warbands. They have better defense. I'm putting the settlers in this army. Mate. They're a very important unit. See what I mean? The upkeep? Oh, money's not important in this game, really. It doesn't do much. Uh, lookout exploration. Tell you what, I'm going to get a lookout this time, because exploration XP is actually important for me, since I'm investing in it. You get chaos if you go negative. It's going to take a lot of turns before I go negative. I've got some breathing room. Now... Uh, where am I looking to found this new city? Uh, well, I've got massive bonuses to meet, so I'm going to build it around here. That, that makes a lot of sense. Build it around here. I can't remember what my bonus to meet is or where it comes from, but I know I've got one. So, th and there's a lot of good resources and a river. So it's going to be there. All right. Also, I'm just going to build a straight up barn for more pot growth here. Oh, the Japanese discovered that one. It doesn't matter, though. That's my Chinese spy, by the way. The legend. You, don't, you have not the bonus for meat yet. Need it from Wild Hunters. I'll get it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it later. Yeah. All right, here we go. Age of fucking heroes, boys. Age of heroes. Kill the barbs. Um, this is my upgraded uh, general scout. Let's send them out and fight a wee bit then. Anvers, would you mind building... Uh, for improvement points, please. Age of Marvel Heroes. Can't wait for tomorrow, not gonna lie. Well, Bavaria Part 22, yeah, quite right. 
Right, let's see how my upgraded Scout General fight. Oh, is this? No, oh, no, God, no. Is this a big, big boy? Oh no, we killed it. Okay. I thought that was another strong bloke. Tell you what, though, I mean, I've got this scout, so I will just scout with him. Oh god, they, they encircled the Chinese spy. They just fucking encircled him. Got you, you'll be safe. Oh, and then you just run into another barb because there's just barbs every fucking time. Right. I would like to say if you found it. There. Next time. So what's your final verdict on this game? That's not a C oh, the Chinese spy died. Oh well. I think all my scouts are now dead. Because there's just barbs. They have absolutely no room to move because there's barbs on every tile. Right. Second Burgundian city, everyone. Right. What is it? Hello, Oceania. Nice. Um, nice. Oh. It's a French. I've got the French town names, yeah. Dijon, capital of Burgundy? Well, it's the capital of a different Burgundy. The Burgundy capital uh, normally is uh, oh, Bruges. Good idea. Bruges. Ah. Bruges will be sort of important in Bavaria Part Twenty Two in a different way than you might think. Burgundy in French is Bourgogne. Yeah, I feel like um, Anvers represents Northern Burgundy. We can make a southern Burgundy city, so Bourgogne the city, which is Burgundy anyway. Bourgogne. Or Bourgogne. Let me see it. That state's capital is Dijon? Okay, Dijon, Dijon, Dijon. Dijon, Dijon. So we are in France now. We are definitely in France this time. That barb camp to the south. I mean, maybe get rid of that. It won't threaten my capital. Oh, well, we're going to have to have a war with Japan then, are we? Yeah, brilliant. Propose open borders. How about, can, you know, can I just improve relations for a bit? Maybe. Yeah, there's no there's no choice. The AI will just always fight. Well we've lost our meat, so now I'm gonna go all out into farming. Unvers should be getting a lot of food, right? Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, quite a lot. Cutting edge, what does that do? Increases innovation accumulated. I've got, I've got an innovation bonus. So yeah, we are running out of money. Uh, bonus boosts regional efficiency. All resources generated in region. Do need mill tax. Uh, create town. I could create Dijon's town, and it could definitely be a lumber town. Because I'm pretty sure a southern area of Burgundy is forested, right? Avignon, but we're going to go to Dijon in real life. We're going to do the same process, which is fun. I'm going to miss doing this when we lose our fucking millennia streams. Right, we're going to Dijon in France. Here it is, we already found it. And we're going to look for a town. A small town out, out near it somewhere. It's got a funny name. What is the funniest thing you can see on your screen right now? Uh, Saint Bernon, Oxon, Pontaillé, Mirbeau, Rognon, Bez. Is there a place called Grey? I don't see it. Uh, Longvic? Where's that? Saul le Duc, grey to the east. 
Oh yeah, gray. 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 Cushy. Nuit Saint Georges. These nuts Saint Georges. Oh, Long Vic. How about that one? It's a suburb. You can call it a suburb of Dijon. Long Vic. That must be the airport. Aeroport de Dijon Bourgogne. Oui. Long Vic. Right. Let's uh, go and have a look around here. Where's, where should we look at? North or south of the river. Long Vic. Let's go to the town hall, the La Mairie. This is the town hall. Is that a nice building? Uh, would you call that a nice building? To be honest, I don't know if I would. Really? I don't know. Eh. It's alright. It's alright. That's where they discuss the issues of Long Week. Right. Let's look really in the centre of it. Right. Where do you get... Where's the uh, the beating heart? Here? The beating heart of Long Week. Uh, that's nice. Nice sculpture. I don't know if I like these these apartment buildings everywhere. I don't know. That is some weird looking shit. It looks like fucking bathroom tiles. You want to build a building out of bathroom tiles? Oh god. Oh my god. It's sunny, but don't let that throw you off. Oh my fucking god, this architecture. Is this just a glitch in the camera, or is it actually really a wavy building? No, it's straight. It's straight. It's not as wavy, it's just the camera. Lone week is depressing. Yeah, Jesus. Nice fountains here, though. That's nice. July, so we're in summer. It was a heat wave. This was during a heat wave, right? Back in 2022. There was a massive heat wave in Europe. So that's why it's so sunny at the time. It's a giant bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's give the south side of the river a look though. It could be, it could be all it could be better down here. It could be better down here. Oh, and you know what? It kind of is. It's greener. The people to the south of the river really care a lot more about greenery and trees and bushes they care a lot more the river is called Oosh ah. oh yeah it's definitely nicer on the south of the river yeah the buildings aren't too bad I kind of like that when will we get a geoguesser stream you're watching it you're watching it you know maybe you just want to hop on the L6 bus and the L6 to Longvik. I could have... Now, with that, I would have been able to find it in GeoGuessr with that on the bus. This is more fun than the game? Yeah, kind of. This is nice. It's an older building here. Old, Very old wall. This is really old. This is older stuff here. It almost looks Roman, but it's not. It's it clearly it's clearly not Roman, but it looks like it. We're in that part of the world. It's not though, obviously. But it just look it looks like it looks Roman. All the architecture down here. Buildings. Something strikes me about it. That's nice as well. Is this a wee church? What church is this? The Eglise Saint Pierre? Is it... What's this? Bet Grandir l'Eglise. Make the church bigger. Um, grow the church, they're saying. I'm going to get more people in it. Probably Catholic. Uh, but you can't be sure. Might be some other wee denomination. Eglise is... No, it's a church. Um, well, there you go. Right, that's Long Week, and that's going to be our town in... Yeah, what, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were playing this game called Millennia, yeah. Long Week. I like the idea that I could be doing this, and then someone watches it who is actually from the place, right? 
doesn't often happen because I'm, you know, the channel's small and there's not that many people watching, but there's always a chance. Uh, but anyway, we end the turn. Okay, let's go. Um, the, uh, the Japanese rejected the open borders, of course. Why would they want anything nice? You know, maybe I'll just get ahead of the curve and attack them out here already and just kill this army. Fuck, I don't know. Just get ready for the war. My army is a bit big and it's draining my money quite a lot. That's already helping. I've killed one of my units. All I've got left is my Giga Chad Scout General. And you know what? I'm going to make him the Chinese spy. It's a bit of subterfuge. It was him all along. It was always this. It was always this guy. Uh, Anvers. Again, we build... Um, mm, uh, a food stock plant. They've done it. The fucking AI has done it. They've declared hostilities. They actually fucking did it. They actually did it. And we were joking about it. We were joking about them doing that. And here we are. So where's that army they had around here? Oh, there's something there. We'll go kill that. Yeah. It's, it's on. I don't have money and I have to pay for an army because I'm forced into a war by the stupid, over-aggressive, unbalanced AI. Innovation, masons. What does this do? A production bonus from limestone and marble. Well, that's good because I have marble in my capital. But, hear me out. I need the money. I think I need the money on this one. Told you to do it. To do what? To do what? Declare hostilities? Yeah. I'm taking the money this time because I really need it. I need it to fight this war. Right, these guys just need to escape. Uh, with 30 points, I can... Your regions expand faster than Scoblin tiles. Probably not important. Maybe we just discover elephants. I Plus two bonus from food and... Uh, meat I don't have any meat goods on the good on the goal right now maybe you can change AI aggressiveness from okay <laughs> oh you haven't seen much of this game hung you don't know that there's fuck all settings and customization in this game look at this look at the gigantic army they've already assembled against me fuck this game fuck this game in a way it's not all bad again all those all the same uh Conditions apply when I say fuck this game. Like, but, you know, fuck it. I love not having a customized experience. Yeah, there's no customization in the game. And I think a, th a valid theory as to why that is is that they had to rush out the game because of Paradox. Um, that's all I'm, I'm, I'm giving them credit. In three turns, I'll use my government power to upgrade Dijon to a proper city. I can build shit there. But anyway, um, so is there anything I can do out of this stuff? Maybe. Rebuild the town. I need to use uh, engineering points on that. 25 engineering points to rebuild ruined town. This game worth buying? Uh, nah. It's not worth buying at its price, although I like a lot of things about it. Now let's see if we got ele we got ele we do we do have elephants. Let's go. How do we gather the elephants? There's a hunting camp. Let's go. We're gathering elephants. We, we've got ivory, which gives us exploration XP, I think. Yeah. Well, there you go. On verse, by the way, needs a dwelling. At least maybe when it gets to six pops it does, I don't know. Now, uh, look at what, what are the Japanese cooking here? What are they trying to do? 
I'm going to go out with my armies and face them. Hopefully they attack me. However, in, what, what are we? One turn away. We are Age of Heroes in the next turn, which is big, right? We're about to experience one of the good things about the game, in my opinion. It's about to happen next turn. So let's watch it happen. You now remember City Skylines 2. Oh my god, why'd you have to do that to us? Age of Iron. Here we fucking go. We did it. City Skylines 2 has the same player count as Vic 3. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, before we go to the Age of Heroes, let's... I know we're going on a tangent based on one random message in chat, but this is actually important. Let's see. If City Skylines has that lower player count, then it must have had one of the biggest drop-offs in fucking history. Wait, 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 wait. Can't fucking find it on Steam charts. Wait, 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 wait. Bear with me. By the way, that content warning game, I might be playing it on Saturday with Dino Stan and Big Weevil. All right, hold on a minute. This drop off. I thought it started with more than 100k. But this drop off. Yeah, the City Skylines 2 drop off is ridiculous, actually. This is back in October. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is bad. Oh, dear City Skylines 2. Oh, they fucked that up. Why is Paradox so fucking bad? Like. You would expect you you would expect this sort of thing, this disaster, to happen every once in a while, and it's like a one-off terrible thing for a company. But Paradox does this every fucking month with, with a game, right? You had that Star Trek thing. You've got Millennia now. This is City Skylines two. What else have they done in that time? They've probably even got other shit they've done in the same time. Can't remember. You should look at the Star Trek Infinite game. We, we already did. I had a look at that at the start. Age of Wonders 4 is pretty good. Aye, but that was ages ago. That was ages ago. And yeah, the City Skylines also had the beach properties tr uh, controversy. The beach properties DLC for City Skylines 2 is actually the lowest rated item ever on Steam. At 4% positive. City S2 is currently sitting at 28 positive on recent reviews. Yeah, we can have a closer look. Hold on. Yeah, wow. Oh. It's still mixed overall, and it's now down to mostly negative recently. Uh, and what you just had was beach properties. Beach properties, overwhelmingly negative, 4% positive. Paradox. Again, this is a published game, but yeah. Paradox, 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 paradox. Insert Peaky Blinders, no pre order. This is what pre orders do. And you know what? I don't even care. If people want to keep pre ordering and let this happen, I'm happy to sit here and just laugh at them. Right? I don't care. I, I don't. If they want to do this, it's funny. It's funny to watch this. Already DLC for CS2, yeah. What are they saying? Why did I buy the Ultimate Edition? I should have just burned my money instead. Bitch properties. <laughs> Colossal Order should be ashamed of themselves. The launch was terrible, and then it takes them half a year to get it patched into something playable. Yeah. Thrown together pile of crap. This review is really directed at Colossal Order, but Paradox has some responsibility for being the publisher, doing push, rushing the game out too soon, and uh, making the DLC come out. Jesus. Where's the beach? 
Four palm trees, that's really all you need to know. No promenade, no beach. Oh my god. Oh, Paradox, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, back to the back to another Paradox classic. Uh, Age of Heroes? They've, they've outright declared war now. Where's my Age of Heroes, though? Wait. Wait. I, wait, 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 wait. No. Wait. Are you sick? Someone got Age of Iron before I got Age of Heroes. I was one turn off of it. Wait. Did that actually just happen? I, I wasn't even paying attention. But I thought, oh, Age of Heroes is in the bag. But someone actually got another age before me, didn't they? Even though it was on the same turn? Realization dropped. Oh, this game is definitely getting a negative review. Two turns to be exact. I swear, to, was I two turns? Or was it... Was it the same turn, or was it the two turns? I need to know the facts on that. Do I have an autosave? My last save is on turn 40. Bavaria got it one turn before you. Oh, I guess I should have eureka it then, I guess. But uh, I can revolution to get my government. Is Millennia a good 4 axe according to your opinion? I've heard other content creators find it fun because it's so min-maxable. You know, the min-maxable element of it, I think, is probably shit. Because, you know, imagine this game, right? And I've, I've found loads of positive elements. There's a lot of optimization you can do to your economy and your army and the way you go. This is the type of game that, after you play it enough and you work things out, you can just play a completely optimal path, do everything completely right, get the exact right one X the exact the right amount of XP and points and just be ridiculously overpowered. Like, min, literally min-maxing it. That's not actually fun, right? Get Trying to desperately get the right XPs and all that to outplay the AI and get the right min-maxing isn't actually fun. You should be able to just make choices and go, oh, that sounds cool, I'll get that. Oh, maybe I'll build that there without being completely fucked if you get the wrong thing. Like, you should be able to mess around a bit and play and think, oh, maybe I'll invest into a bit of that. And then, but, you know, you shouldn't have to completely min-max in order to fucking stay alive. Like, I failed to do in all three of my playthroughs so far. I wasn't able to out-min-max the AI in my last playthrough, so I died. Like, I wasn't able to try a couple of different things. I have to play mega-optimal, and I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. So, again, we're coming to the high IQ realisation that this game is actually shit all along. I think. I think we may be coming, but we're, we're going through the IQ chart, if you know what I mean. Have I got an example of the IQ I can post? I've got a Victoria 2 example. This is what I mean, right? So, the Grug low IQ is oh, Game look bad. Game bad. Game look bad. Then the middle IQ is, no, it's actually good. There's some good mechanics behind it. It's actually good. And then the Giga Chad is, this game is completely fucking unbalanced. This game requires insane min-maxing to keep up with broken, unfair, overly aggressive AI. Or to not let your country die to internal rebellions. Yeah, that's this game. Does anyone have any disagreement or agreement with that in chat? We are about, we are about to experience that in this fucking playthrough as well completely. We're gonna get we're gonna go into a death war against a Japanese AI who can outgrow me. Look at the size of Matsui or whatever already. Like this is probably a gigantic city that probably has a few more pops than my five pops, right? It's already fucking happening. Fuck this game. We found the truth about this. Finding the truth. I mean, I've had some fun with it, um, and I've kind of got the urge to play it off-stream, but you know what? I might just play Civ instead, right? I might scratch my 4X uh, itch by playing Civ instead of this, because we're, we're really unearthing how deep shit it is at the end of the day. Let's get disciplined for better armies to fight a death war against the AI, shall we? 
That's all we can do. Them fucking pops. Waffle. Right, we should instantly kill that archer. No, it survived. You, you're only you're only two warbands. You're useless. Just defend. Uh, I think some barbs suicided into me here. Heal up. Uh, build another bow hunter. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's continue. At least in Civ, they actually accept peace. Yeah, do you think there's slight nuance to the diplomacy in Civ? I'm going to send this army down here. And let's let's say if if this city here, which I don't know the name of, has 10 or more pops, I'm rage quitting on the spot. Okay, that's the deal. 10 or more pops on this, I think, is unreasonable, and I'm rage quitting. Because I, I would say the AI is broken from that. Channel bets. Yeah, I miss Twitch, I guess. I miss Twitch in that regard. We would do that sort of thing. Uh, but I am going to integrate these on at least, so there's something good. Uh, you integrated Dijon. And we are going to build a town centre. Chinese spy needs to find the truth. Yeah, we're set. Oh, oh. Oh. There's my town. There's Longvik. Gone. Just, just instantly gone. No counterplay. Nothing to do. Just instantly gone. Oh my god. This. I want. I'm gonna drop the fattest negative review on this pile of shit. Um. The culture thing we need to do is peaceful revolution. Get the next government. Uh, and yeah, we're going to Imperial Dynasty because that's... Uh, anyway, I'm rushing through this, but... We do Imperial Dynasty. Is, it's because we are going to have to end up playing tall in my capital, which that is for. Now, I'm going to build the palace at my earliest possible convenience. This is a new army I've built. These guys. There's always another option that happens to this stack before I get it to the Japanese, which is they die to overpowered massive barb spam. That could also happen. Dijon. Uh, what do you need? What do we need here? Maybe... Uh... Plus one culture and knowledge is really good, so I'll buy that, I'll get that building. And volunteers, which just gives us utterly shitty uh, fucking warband, they're crap. Here though we've got two marble, what can I do with marble, anything? The mill takes wheat and rice, which I do have, I'll do that. I'll build a mill. Millennia. I got caught up spud, but I foresee the army of Hull rebirthing soon. Yeah, um, we do have a big war going on, and I would like to name some stacks after people, so if anyone wants to get a thing named after them, super chats, channel memberships. I got mad too in my first games, but I played more deliberately and had a better experience. Mate, this is like my fifth game. This is my fifth game, right? I've had my early games. They're done and dusted. We are... I think this is late, later for me. I got my early rage games done in my first session when I played Scotland and then fucking Bavaria. And uh, I just lost an entire army there, by the way. But I did do a lot of damage. These, uh, the bow hunters are good units. They're pretty good. I'll give them that. They're good units. What difficulty is this? Adept, I think. So it's a pretty solid difficulty. I'm not playing easy. Did a lot of damage. For, you know, the fight back is real. The fight back is happening. 
Where is Dijon getting all its food from? It's got a massive food bonus. Just normal grassland, I guess. This is supposed to be. No I'm playing one step above what is normal, I think. Difficulty wise. We're winning the war, but that doesn't mean I'm instantly positive about anything. We're going to see this city. Um, horses? Sounds good. I'm down here. As soon as I go and kill one of their armies, the rest of them are coming back. Right. Okay, can we see the city? We still have not uncovered the actual city yet, but we're in the city limits. I bet it's around six pops. Mate, the borders are massive on it. I think it's bigger. Chariot. Actually, yeah, chariot. And Onvers needs new buildings because it's new. No, Onvers is my capital. That's not the new place. I'm going to build uh, an encampment there. Dijon, I'm going to change to... How great your warbats? Good point. You got away with the back seating this time, but I won't let you get away with it in the future, okay? Right. We're very... We're in a good position to fight that. Oh, these guys are still using warbands. Do you want to watch this? We haven't had a battle for a while. Wow. 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 Plus 40 defense. It's, it's the terrain. That's fair. But you know what? That plus 40 defense didn't mean anything. We're still slaughtering them. Over a river. Yeah, you can see the river and how that comes into play in this amazing detailed battle screen. You can see them fording the river to fight it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I cannot move them. No, I can move them through here. Eat 11 pops. 11 pops. And they've got a new city as well. Chat, I said I would instantly rage quit if it was more than 10. And I'm going to stand by that. We're done. Uh, I'm going to stand by it. I'm going to stand by my word. Besides, I can go and do a wee bit of the finishing touches to Bavaria Part 22 instead of this crap. Uh, I mean, if this is what it's like on the Adept difficulty, then what happens on the even more difficult difficulties? Now, I watched Habibi's video, and what he did was a cheesy strat, right? Habibi went raiders and just spawned in infinite raiders and killed everyone, even on the hardest difficulties. Negative review stream. Now I'm going to take my time on that and do it off stream. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do it later. They, uh, yeah, the AI on this one, eh? Fucking hell. Uh, maybe I'll play some Civ as well instead of this. Just to the lols, you should play one game on the hardest diff. No. I don't want to do any bullshit for the memes. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to do it. Um, not unless there's a fat super chat behind it or something, because I've got to make it worth my while. I could be finishing off Bavaria Part 22, which is pretty much finished, by the way. I just need to do a little couple pieces of music in it. And um, what else do I need to do? The outro with uh, the channel membership advert and stuff. Uh a fat super chat is all that could get me to do anything like that. Oh my god. Forget about a super chat to name one of my armies. We are not continuing this. And you know what else I noticed about past sessions as well? I went into enemy capital cities and I raised almost all of their tiles. Completely fucking them up. And you know what that did to them? Absolutely nothing. It did not do anything. It raised their unrest level by one or something. And then nothing. It didn't do a single dent to them at all. Nothing. It's pointless. The armies would have been better off defending my homes instead of going out there and completely laying waste to their entire country, which it did not affect them at all. Yeah, I've got Onvers at eight pops. 
growing in two turns. Dijon three pops growing in four turns. We've got Yokohama at five pops and Edo at eleven, and a new city Kyoto at one. And another city here that I can't see yet. And another one. Like, and just remember how they, uh, you know, I encountered them. I was like, oh, here's Japan. They're going to go to war with me for no reason instantly. And they did. Do not buy this game, anyone. Do not fucking buy this game. Sloptastic. Fucking Christ. What game. Look, all the people criticizing it were right, of course. You were right all along. I mean, if you were the sort of person who was like, oh, why is Spodgun playing this? Well, you're wrong to have that attitude, because I, I can play what I want, but I have now played through enough of it to hate on it more accurately. I never got this far with Victoria 3. Um, I never did. I never played it much. I never got past the hurdle of trying to even bother working with shit economy and all that. I hate it too much to even you know, play it much, but this one, I gave it a chance and it has good things, but I can now hate on it accurately. So, uh, it was a pleasure, though I had a fun stream, don't get me wrong. Had a lot of good fun with you, chat. So, uh, I think I'm ready for a non-paradox stream. Tune in to Content Warning on Saturday with Dino Stan and Big Weevil and someone else, maybe. We're going to play this new Flavor of the Month horror co-op game on Saturday. I'm looking forward to that one. And then, on Sunday, Scandinavia Multiplayer Vic 2 Session 3. That's the big deal, on Sunday. Respect for giving it a chance, and we all visited nice places around Europe together. Yeah, I, I expect this game to fade into obscurity. Right. The, uh, the marketing campaign for it or whatever is over. I mean, a lot of content creators still are playing it, including me. But, um, given the player count and all that, mixed reviews, it's just going to end up fading into obscurity. Maybe. It'll be a quiet imperator. I mean, they've screwed themselves by promising DLC in quarter three of this year and quarter four of this year. They have to keep it alive. It's going to be, and if it's really unprofitable and it's fading into obscurity, then it's going to be really on life support. What are the three main critiques you would give for this game, Spud? Looks shit, completely unbalanced, AI is god-awful. Right, there's your three surface level critiques. And when you get even deeper than that, there's a lot of problems. Oh. And you know what else I'm going to say to you, Zenmos? You gave a clown reaction to my announcement of me playing this stream and you gave a poop reaction to the last one. Someone also rolled their eyes at the announcement of me playing this. Well, you wouldn't be watching no matter what I was playing anyway. You people don't even watch uh, my other streams, do you? I haven't seen either of you in any of my streams for ages. So why are you hating on me playing one thing uh, when you don't watch me play the other things anyway? Who cares? Eh? So, sounds like Victoria 2, Lel. Well, that's uncomparable. So, there. What's this anyway? Two Japanese scouts are coming to pillage my land anyway. But yeah, we're rage quitting. Uh, this is an official millennia rage quit. I'm not going to play it again. Um, it was a fun stream though. As my chat glitch, it sort of has. I have to admit, I enjoy it. If you still do like this game, because some of you do, there's no problem with that. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for your uh, memberships earlier in the stream. Thanks for your super chats earlier in the stream. And maybe one or two later in the stream. Thanks for your viewership and engagement. I enjoyed talking to all of you. It was a lot of fun. So tune in for Bavaria Part 22 tomorrow, obviously. That's massive. And... We will stream Content Warning, the new flavour of the month for player co-op horror game on Saturday, 6pm-ish my time. Then session 3 of the Epic Scandinavia series on Sunday, live, right here. 
So yeah, cheers everyone. Bye. Have a very good uh, end of your week. And then have a good weekend. Bye.